What's going on, Bama Nation? It's your truly Stephen Smith of Touchdown Alabama Magazine. Just coming to you on a Sunday, recapping, giving you my thoughts of what happened on the A-Day game uh, over the weekend, uh, the excitement, the energy, the newness that King and DeBoer and his staff brings to the table. And let's get into the first things that stood out. Number one, how about Jalen Milrow and Ty Simpson looking like quarterback one and quarterback two out there? Milrow, you can just tell. He's working with a quarterback coach. He's worked with somebody to get himself prepared to have a Heisman-like season, an All-American-like season, an NFL draft pick, high-end NFL draft pick-like season. He was dotting receivers out there in the spring game, whether it was Jeremy Bernard, whether it was Cole Adams, whether it was Emmanuel Henderson. Jalen Milrow was hitting guys, pinpoint passes, especially on those short to intermediate routes. So he has greatly improved in that area. Ty Simpson made some big plays also, driving the offense downfield, moving the football, getting Jeremy Bernard involved, getting Cole Adams involved, getting Danny Lewis Jr. involved, getting King of Odom involved. So big plays from Jalen Milrow, big plays from Ty Simpson, People talk about Justice Haynes, and he's a stud. But Jam Miller, what a game for the young man from Tyler, Texas, third-year running back. I mean, he over 80 yards rushing, two touchdowns. We saw the speed, the burst, the explosiveness, the vision, the cutback ability. Playmaker, flat-out playmaker was the A-Day game MVP. you got a talented loaded, uh, loaded running back room, a talented running back room, a versatile room, and Jim Miller put on a flat-out show. And then going to Jeremy Bernard, folks, we've seen transfer wide receivers come to the University of Alabama and have major success. Jerm is the next one. He had, like, what, three catches for 122 yards, including a deep ball play from Jalen Milrow, he got tackled inside the five-yard line. Germ, a big performance. But aside from those guys, some unheralded players that stepped up. Cole Adams was making catches left and right. A tough receiver. Took some hits, took some pops, but held onto the ball. Made a lot of catches, a lot of plays. Pleased with Cole Adams. Brace and Hubbard, the defensive back was popping guys left and right out there on the field in the secondary. Came away impressed with him. Uh, James Smith uh, made some plays out there. Jeremiah Alexander made some plays out there. Red Morgan uh, made some big hits, some big tackles out there. Uh, got a chance to see a few of those guys out there in the zone. And then Dre Kirkpatrick Jr. Dre Jr. had an interception out there showing his range, his coverage ability. I know his dad so, so happy to see that take place out there on the field. When you look at this from the kicking aspect, a little competition going on there as Reed uh, Sawback was out there. You know, he made a 47-yard field goal. Connor Talty missed the lone attempt that he had, but Talty, the young man on scholarship, I think he's going to be the guy to pull this thing out from the kicking position. Alabama did not punt in the spring game at all, but those were just some things that stood out to me. Quarterback stepping up, including Jalen Milrow, Ty Simpson. Huge game from Jam Miller as the MVP. Big, uh, big showing from Jeremy Bernard. Cole Adams did some things as well. So it was a very productive spring game, a very productive A-Day game as we have now ended spring ball for your Crimson Tide. But this is yours truly, Stephen Smith of Touchdown Alabama Magazine, just providing my thoughts here from the A-Day game.